Hey guys, my name is Chris Gambit. I'm the editor-in-chief of thephotographer.com. Today I'm talking to you guys about the new iFi Mobi card. This is their best card yet because all it does is it takes your JPEGs, sends it to your device, and that's it. If you want raw transfer, you're going to have to go with their Pro card, but this is probably the one that most people want. Plus, it really helps with sending images from your DSLR or other camera that you have straight to the web um, via your mobile device very, very simply and very easily. Um, it's probably their best card yet, too, because there's such a simple setup involved. It's basically two steps. Um, I'm going to walk you guys through that process right now. So, in order to do this, I'm going to load it up into my Canon SL1 right there. Got this in for review recently. So, this goes right in here, like so. Sweet. Okay, card is loaded. And now we are a go. Cool. Okay, so first off, I'm going to set my exposure correctly. And right now, as you see here, I'm in RAW plus JPEG. It's only going to send the JPEG files, though. And right down here is a little interface for iFi. A lot of cameras have this. Basically tells you that it's iFi enabled or not. So I'm going to make sure when I go into the Canon menu system that I have iFi enabled. This is only for Canon cameras, by the way. Yeah, so it is enabled. No problem. Okay, so get out of that. Go to the menu. Sweet. So now I'm going to come over to my phone right here. And I am going to unlock it. Then I'm going to go over to iFi. Sweet. Okay, Wi-Fi is already turned on. You have to make sure that your Wi-Fi is turned on in order for this to work. What the card will actually do is it will create its own Wi-Fi signal via a router inside. So I'm going to take a picture right now. You heard that, right? Yeah, that's the picture right there. And it will send the image in just a bit. But take a look at this. See, that means right there. That right there. See how it's blinking now? That means it's activating the iFi card. And that will transfer right now, as you're seeing. And my phone switched Wi-Fi signals. And it's sending the image over right now. And it will appear right about now-ish. As my phone, there you go. I'm gonna take another photo, just for proof. And you'll see it come up. So let's carefully set this one. Come on, focus. And the new image will transfer over just a bit. The, car the camera tells me that it's transferring the image. And it will transfer the image in just a second. This was significantly faster last night, by the way. Also, my phone is quite slow. That's the other thing. Oh, the image actually did come through. I just didn't... It didn't automatically show. Didn't realize that. So, let's try this again, then. Um, just to show you guys. I'm going to take a picture of my camera screen right now. Okay, so that shot right now. And it will transfer. There you go. Yeah, that was the problem. I was in full screen mode. And it's transferred, and there we go. Cool. Right there. So that's the brand new iFi Mobi card. It's super simple to set up. It's literally just a two-step process. Let me show you something right now in the iFi card app. I can bring this in a little closer for you guys. Focus. There we go. So what you can do, at least on Android, is you can go to your settings. And there's a new thing called Add a Mobi Card. So what you do is you basically just go there and then you type in your 10-digit key that you get and then you're all set.
For the iPad and for the iPhone, it's a little bit more complicated. You do have to go out and switch Wi-Fi signals manually, but I mean, that's always what you've had to do. Either way though, um, this is really cool and we're really excited about this new product. Um, iFi has been going through quite a bit of changes and it seems like now they're probably really going to rock the world. Alright guys, thanks a lot. Appreciate your time. Take care.